Well, it's a lot of responsibility, um, and that's not lost on me. It's something that uh, I see, and it's something that I really care deeply about. Um, but I feel so blessed, you know, even though th there are moments where I feel like I'm absolutely not worthy and they should get someone who's more articulate or has their shit together more than I do, you know. Um, but it's been such an incredible, incredible uh, experience just like moving through the world and seeing how this character in a fictional TV show is affecting people um, in their lives. I remember I like, I was at the airport in, um, in Monte Carlo and these two girls came up and they were like, we're on a school trip here and like, you know, Kat's our favorite and like, she helped me discover my sexuality and she helped me figure out how to talk to my parents about it. And um, I, then like a couple of weeks later, I was at New York Pride and that I didn't, I didn't know going into it. I was like, I'm just gonna go to Pride. Here we go. Like any other day. <laughs> I did not realize that I wasn't ever going to be able to leave Pride. Um, but it was really, it was like amazing to see people like who'd like climbed up to the light poles so they could see like shouting that like, hey, cat, love you back. I was like, oh, very cool, you know. Um, yeah, so it's definitely not something that I ever expected, but something I'm really grateful for. I think it's just the fact that you see these two people who happen to meet each other on in such bizarre circumstances and you see the connection right away and I genuinely think that Nicole is such an incredible, wonderful woman mm -hmm. and I feel so blessed to work with her. I think she's so talented and um, I think that that like, love and respect like really translates um, into the show. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also really interesting to see someone who's a grown woman discovering their sexuality a little later um, and it's not that rare, but it's something that we rarely see on television. You know, to be in that questioning phase is kind of, it's like a thing that happens in high school. It's not a thing that happens when you're, you know, grown up. I am on your team. I totally agree. The whole, as since the beginning, I've been saying, just let them be happy just for a moment. Um, but, Having said that, I kind of, there's part of me that enjoys the drama of it all too. Mm -hmm. And just knowing that like, you know, even though last season kind of felt like the end, it really isn't and it couldn't be because mm -hmm. it wasn't quite explained, you know? There was like, yeah. there were still questions I had in my mind and um, I think that people are gonna be really happy because it allows Kat to kind of um, go off and grow, you know, on her own, which she really does need to do some growing up, I think. Uh, and I think it will be really interesting when we, when we get to see that stuff come back up again, because it will. When I, when I read, like, you know, the, the scene, um, at habit forming when she kisses the other girl, I like threw my iPad down. I was like, no, how could she do it? And I I would have questioned it more, but we see Kat be impulsive so yeah. much on this show that it really made sense. It mm -hmm. felt like kind of like the logical next step for her if she's mm -hmm. feeling this way. Um, but yes, I agree. I wish they had more of a honeymoon phase. And I'm, I'm still like hopeful that it's gonna happen. I don't know. Yeah, uh, in season two, we got to see Kat kind of start to explore her racial identity. Mm -hmm. And you, you can't complete that journey in one episode. It's just not possible. Uh, so yeah, we're going to see more of that in season three. We're going to see um, how becoming more aware of that changes the way that you move through the world and it changes um, some of your experiences. I know that Kat's journey is really different to mine, but um, I think for anyone who is biracial, there's you're being pulled in two different directions, it feels, mm -hmm. sometimes, and people make observations based on how they see you. Um, and so I, I think it's gonna be really interesting to see Kat navigate that. And um, she's a, a late bloomer, so to me it makes sense that, that she didn't kind of become aware of that until a little later in life. We rarely see female friendships depicted in this way, even though that's 
the way we've always experienced the world, you know? Uh, so I think it's super important and wonderful to see. Uh, and I also, I also think in a way the show is aspirational, you know? We, we hope that this is how all female friendships are. It's not the reality of the situation. It's there, there's toxicity everywhere in the world, but um, we're hopefully representing, you know, what it can be. And I know that it's been really great because even like with the three of us girls, we always make an effort to like sit down with each other and say, you know, how have you been feeling lately? Like, how is it on set for you? Um, how's your personal life, your relationship? And we are so open with each other about that stuff uh, and so open with each other when we're feeling insecure or confident or whatever it may be on that particular day. Uh, and, you know, I, I haven't been blessed with that many friendships like that in my life. I have a few, yeah. um, but this one with Katie and Megan, the real life Jane and Sutton is um, okay. something that's really important to me. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think being on the show has forced me to kind of, um, examine how I feel about things and also uh, you know because of the fact that Kat is so opinionated it's kind of coming into my own personality a little bit. I've felt inspired by her to speak up when I see things that I you know that I feel you know like hey we can do this better and it's always coming from a collaborative place but um, yeah I think I think the show in general and also Kat as a character have totally influenced me in my life and made me feel more motivated to be involved. I think like season three is gonna be a really fun ride. There's gonna be, you know, we, we take on social issues and everything, but I think at the heart of the show, what it's about is it's about people mm -hmm. and their relationships and how much they love each other. And, um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's an opportunity to like take a break, you know? and like just enjoy yourself for 45 minutes or an hour. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think it's, it's gonna be a good mix of that in season three.